Oh no, Birdo! <laughs> Hold on. That's got to be declared a draw. What? what? But oh, Birdo is absent from the board. This week, last week even, the winner got to pick the movie for everyone to watch. I picked Diana the Musical on Netflix. We're all going to ch chat about that tonight. It's going to be great. Week mm. one, the prize was for a complete set of B-movie Pez, which I now have there in my are. possession. Oh my god. Look at them, guys. <laughs> but look at the detail on this, pal, this Pez problem. dispenser. Is that is that the is that Jerry Seinfeld's dad or is that his oh, friend? That's friend. This is this is Jerry Seinfeld. His best mate, right? This is his the human who bulgy. wants to have sex with a bee. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I remember her. And here are two bees that I don't remember at all. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna we're just gonna chat Diana for a little bit. But before we chat Diana while we play Mario mm. Party, the losers must draw fan art of the winner to be delivered mm. next week. Of next yep. next week's stream, uh, and I can't wait for you all to draw me in all my glory. Philippa, you you haven't played with us yet. How are you feeling about your chances? I'm not focused on me winning. I'm focused on you losing <laughs> as my number one priority. Wow, it's not gonna happen. Um, wait, who picks Birdo? Me. Who's DK? Okay, so that's me. Okay, I'm okay. DK. I know who Waluigi is. Trying to yeah. get in on the. The strong Donkey Kong energy from last patch. I hope so, yeah. <laughs> Come on. No! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Can't really good when they're flat. They do. Oh no! Oh, no, 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 oh, no. Six man. seconds, six seconds. Bad. Come this on! This is good, this is good. This is good. Go. Oh no, oh. I ran into it. No! She's too aggressive. <laughs> Brutal. Birdo. That's Birdo. Joe's so so oh, no. keen to show us his haircut. His lovely oh, my his lovely my... hair. <laughs> my oh, camera's wow. gone a bit high. Sorry about that. <laughs> so Diana, the musical. So what what's the first thing that we should say about it? I think Philippa put it best when we watched it the other night and you said it's like a parody musical from a sitcom one of the first notes i made on my in my notepad <laughs> document immediately given me musical and the simpsons vibes oh. and then i put in 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 quotes i hate every every ape i see from chimpanzee a to chimpanzee it's like the <laughs> you know that kind of thing i hate every ape i see from chimpanzee a to chimpanzee with the i feel like any discussion of the diana musical has to begin and end with like who is genuinely who is this for and wh why did they make it? it like, I feel like there's a lot yeah. to discuss other than that, but <laughs> intended audience. Oh, it's definitely an outsider's view it's of, outsider of Britain. Art. It's, that's, uh, it's outsider art and it's also an outsider's view of Britain. There's, there's no way this would have come from inside the UK. It's like a child has read, has read the Wikipedia and then got out their rhyming dictionary and made 30 almost indistinguishable songs about the contents of the Wikipedia page. There are so many songs in this thing, and none of them, none of them stand out. My theory, well, like, yep. so I haven't delved into this too much because I, I kind of didn't want to, oh no. Oh, sh um, I didn't want to kind of over, over explain it. I wanted to leave a bit of mystery because I wanted to, whoa. Okay. They was running away with this. I first saw some clips from from this musical. I swear, yeah. like a year or more ago, on Twitter, like floating around, mm. and it looked like a kind of like a smallish production of it. Everyone who was posting it was like, obviously, like this. This is like I. This is cringe to the point of being like obviously tongue in cheek. Kind of like this is this is silly. And I'm sure that whoever at Netflix kind of decided to make this into like a filmed, like basically I think they know that most people are going to be watching it knowing that it's awful and terrible taste. So, and So you think the execs know that, but do the creators know that? They must do. There, I don't, there's some I don't lines think in there it, that... I don't, think, I don't think it's like, I don't think it's like funny enough or biting enough to be intentionally that's, that's, funny. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. Out. Maybe they had to change it because there was a couple of songs. The James Hewitt song. Oh, the best the... song. Yeah. <laughs> when when J when Major James yeah. Hewitt, Lady Diana's Lady Diana's uh, lust lusty affair partner, comes out of the stage shirtless, first appearance, straddling a bucking bronco. 
as Barbara Cartland yeah. introduces him. I'm making this, this musical sound great. That's the that is the high point. They were able to put funny bits in, but I think maybe maybe if there was any anything in there that was actually negative against like the actual main royals, like maybe maybe they just mm. like had to change it or something. Well, no, I don't know. I feel like the whole thing was like negative towards the royals. Like they all came off very badly. Uh, it feels like the person that's writing it is really is like is kind of obsessed with Diana in the way like. A, 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 like a, a teenagers like obsessed with pop groups but they they make all these points like oh you know like she no. was she was more than just a pretty lady but a lot of the a lot of the the story oh, is her being like because i'm a pretty lady that's why i'm empowered and it's like at odds with its own own themes like that uh, seemed to be the thing that it came back to like oh i'm just an ordinary girl in this crazy uh, only yeah, the daughter yeah. of an earl you know yeah I know, right? They really, they really play up, but there's, they really play up the whole thing that she's like, oh, she's a teacher's assistant or something oh, like that. It's she's like, a kin no, you're... kindergarten yeah. teacher. Do we even say kindergarten here? We don't say that here, right? Mm. They kind of actually make Charles and Camilla's affair way more romantic and meaningful than it probably should do in a, in a musical that's trying to like lionize <laughs> Diana. Like I felt more, Maybe. I felt worse for them <laughs> that they had to suppress their like romance in mm. the. In the face like that of duty. was portrayed as true love. Yeah, and they were open about it from the start, and it, if anything, it's like Diana was just like just in the way. Yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like Charles <laughs> at the start was even like when they were deciding whether to get married, he was kind of like, oh, I'm you know I just love this woman like, I really we belong together. Everyone knows it. I'm always talking about it. I just for some reason my wife's like just really annoyed by it. Mm. Like what's the problem? This is how it's always been done. Like the, the <laughs> prince can have a mistress. Why can't she just get along with that? But there's yeah. there's so much stuff in their songs where it's like he's these senses he's being forced into this like marriage with Diana. They don't. It's not like super overt, but there's enough in it that make you think. Oh, he's doing this out of duty to his mother. Yeah, or something. It's, it's very it's weird. Even if it takes a sort of negative view of some of the stuff they do. I still feel like it kind of contributes to almost like the mythologizing of of this institution of of the royal family and stuff. So even if they're kind of painting the queen in a slightly negative light, sometimes they still give her those moments that are kind of kind of redemptive or that that kind of humanize her a little bit. And it's still kind of planting the seed in your mind that yeah, yeah, this is like a it's a it's a norm, perfectly normal thing that we have a royal family and all this all this stuff. Question is, has anyone in the royal family watched the Diana musical? No. Yes. No. Well, I guess how like royal family's massive. Like, I mean, Meghan Markle probably if you had a watch. That's right? that's exactly who I thought would have a watch. Really? Yes. Love it. No, because because surely, surely Harry like would be fundamentally against this thing. Not be very... with him. Yeah, but like You mean a Harry you mean <laughs> Harry my ginger head my ginger child. Son. <laughs> my ginger head <laughs> second like son. That was that was <laughs> one of the lines. But it'll be they'll be <laughs> choosing what to watch and they'll be like, oh, because you watched Diana and they'll have like a massive argument about it. There's no way. Uh, T V and one Netflix account but like they just like yeah, oh, they do. Secret She's one. at home. They watch Netflix they together, they've got to go on one of their yeah. accounts. <laughs> she's just choosing anything like oh what, he... I'm gonna, what no time i'll just you know what would be funny question that on. do they share an account or do they have individual profiles on the netflix i reckon harry harry goes on incognito tabs to to watch stuff that he he, he doesn't think she would be oh no sorry tabs. megan even can i put forward exhibit a yes. for what i think is one of the things in this musical that demonstrates that i do think it was made slightly produce in a in a slightly producers-esque manner where it's like a slightly tongue-in-cheek thing okay the song with the journalists you you might know the line that i'm thinking of but they use the line better than a guinness mm. better than a i know i was i wrote the, this okay. in my notes too no better than a guinness better than a it's like there's so <laughs> much of like who's who, that and like when the amount of times they they combine the word bloody with goddamn Bloody goddamn, yeah, all the time. Yeah. That doesn't happen. Who liked Diana the Musical? I mean, I Among know us. It, was, it wasn't good. 
That is how I would describe it. I enjoyed watching it, but it wasn't good. I, I feel like with a bit of editing and a bit of extra humour, it could be transformed into something that's like genuinely funny and memorable. You need to cut, mm. you need to cut at least it needs to cut 40 percent Also, mostly the tunes. Like, it just needed some of those songs to be good. Like, if the songs were, like, memorable and good, that would be it. it would, Are like, you saying that the, the, the f***y, 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 so they, good. they couldn't say f they couldn't yeah. say they, they, oh, they made yeah. it feck which was so stupid i was under the impression they sang the whole song as like feckity feckity feck but then for the last feck <laughs> they said f right maybe you, like, maybe maybe, maybe get added emphasis like maybe really netflix mean. allow one wait what do we do here we, we gotta got stomp we gotta we got stomp <laughs> coconuts out of the trees oh, okay. gonna... yeah i think I, oh, yeah that's the technique that one once two of you yeah that's the technique Easy! <sighs> well, what, what was the message you're meant to take away from Diana the Musical? That's a good like, question. I wonder if someone else made a note of this, but like, after she dies... Yeah. Spoilers. Um, <laughs> there, was not, there wasn't much that happened after that. No, but like, mm. the whole cast suddenly appeared on, on stage and quite like, sort of, sincerely said something like, Sometimes... The pe ones who change the world are the people you least expect, or, or yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes like, the people that change the world I'm are like... the people in the most affluent seats of society. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. But it felt like that was really like we were meant to be really like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I never right. expected it would be her. Like they just didn't have a moral, so they were like, oh, you know, like uh, how Frodo managed to destroy the ring and defeat Sauron. <laughs> like maybe Diana could be like that. Like even the smallest, most insignificant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I had another thought about this actually, specifically yeah. regarding the message of it and that scene at the end. So obviously, it's it's one of those Titanic things where, um, ow, where you you know how it's going to end. Like everyone knows how the story ends, or you know, people who are aware of the story. It felt like the ending, and and a lot of the musical in general was them trying to almost trying to do a Hamilton. Like, if, I don't know if you, any of you have seen Hamilton the musical, but it felt very like, here's this slightly underdog person and we're seeing it from her point of view as she goes through society and then it has a, a tragic ending. It kind of felt like the arc of her character was like a little bit similar. Because I've watched it twice, as we all know. Um, in the opening number... Oh no, Birdo! <laughs> Hold on. That's got to be declared a draw. What? what? But Birdo is absent from the board. I took Birdo out. In the opening number, one of the lyrics, and here's the problem, is that all of the lyrics are just really convenient, crappy, like, rhyming couplets. Mm. They're just like, it's like, what's the first thing I can think of that rhymes with the thing yeah. I need the punchline to be? They've already, like, designed, designed her downfall. So I mm. thought, is this going to be, like, a conspiracy? Is this going to be a conspiracy theory, like, mu uh, musical? What could they have done to make this like a legit piece of art that I think I would have enjoyed? I think they needed to push it more extreme in every regard. I think it needed to be more tasteless. I, would, I yeah. want conspiracy theories. I think make it like really abrasive. Make it more crass. Yeah, yeah. I think, like, um... I think they. I think for me, the reason it kind of failed ultimately is because they. I feel like they pulled too many of the punches. I feel like they were being too nice to her. And and you know all the people in this like stupid story about rich, rich idiots. You know. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we did we said this on stream or off stream before, but I think it was off stream where we realised that one of the Mario mates is two statues off having an egot, and that man is Luke Pearson. If we can get you that Tony, if we all just club together and make a really. What, what is an egot? It's when you have an it's uh, Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony, yeah, right? Emmy, Grammy, uh, Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony. I only have one. I only Wait. have one of those. Yeah, because the BAFTA isn't in there. Yeah. Oh, all the. Uh. What about E E bot? Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait! But what if the E stands for Eisner? Oh no, because you've already you, that means you've got two E's. <laughs> e got. <laughs> I got my E got's wrong. Either either way. No. I, either way, we're close, gang. We just need a bit of extra work. Yeah. Oh, I did it. Yes. Uh, Luke, DK. would you would you would you be willing to put your professional oh. name on an incendiary Diana the Musical that we create? Yeah, sure. Nice. Maybe we should do some Diana the Musical fan art. Maybe that that should be a thing. Yes. How did you get me 
musicals and like the song, like with We Will Rock You or whatever, the songs yeah. are, you know, they already exist. Yeah. Mm. That's what we need. We just need songs that already exist that are appropriate to the Diana song. Oh. Put Diana mm. in there. You just, I mean, you, you've just, re- you just reminded me of that, like, this is how your people dance song. Where oh. Charles takes Diana to a classical music show. Diana hates classical music. She hates it. She acts, she acts like a real child about it, and mm. and starts and starts to be like, oh, "I wish I was. I wish this was an Elton John concert." It's like Diana, enjoy the variety, my friend. And then when she, when in that dream sequence where Prince Charles starts to do the robot, <laughs> undignified. <laughs> I was impressed by the attempts to blend to make Bach's, uh, what was it Goldberg variations into a Queen-inspired banger at the beginning. That was, oh, that was when she point. says, "If Freddie Mercury was here, he would mm-hmm. slay." I, I almost fainted. Ooh. And if Queen were playing now, Freddie Mercury would slay it. Uh, when I watched it the second time, I was making notes of how many times I cringed. I stopped about that point because it was just too mm. thick and fast. I love the musical theatre. And of, of course, tonight on Strictly Come Dancing, it was musicals night. Sadly, Diana the Musical did not feature. Um, I've, re- I've really gotten into Strictly lately. Do you know, have I mentioned this before? We never watched it. We accidentally watched it one day. And now we love it. And now it's our whole okay. life. Cool. I really love it. Honestly, I'm going to tell you now, I really love it. Like, it's my favourite mm. TV show. You're watching it and you're like, well, that's not appropriate for a tango. <laughs> and things like that. Who's going to win it all, gang? I mean, spoilers, it's me. Mm. Bonuses are really going to make it this time because we've all got a couple of stars. Birdo's a shoe-in for the, for the green spaces star, if there is one. Give it to... Oh! oh. Yeah. Oh! Start taking some screen grabs at my face, guys, because you're going to be painting or drawing no! this. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Right as well, right? This has got to be bad. No! Oh! No! <laughs> She's too far ahead. What's happening? <laughs> this is meant to be my game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No. Oh my god. This is absolute oh. this is absolute this is this doesn't count. This wasn't official. Bean Bean, when you edit this for YouTube, go take a note of every time Philippa got lucky and we're gonna discount all of the points that came from that luck. Mostly skill. I won a lot of mini games. <laughs> Didn't I? Oh no! Oh, no 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 Birdo. Birdo. That's Birdo! Over explain it. I wanted to leave a bit of mystery because I wanted to. Whoa. Okay. Philip is running away with this! Oh no, Birdo! <laughs> Hold on. That's got to be declared a draw. What? what? Bir- oh, Birdo is absent from the board. I took Birdo out. It's Philippa one, and now we all have to draw fan art, put fan art of Philippa. Mm. An evening of rice. That's what we shall <laughs> call it. Really? Thanks everybody for tuning in. Thanks to everybody for playing. See you yes. next week. It's me, your Ringo star of the Mario Mates Beatles, saying goodnight for Paul, George, and Ringo. Love you all. Have a great evening. Bye. Good night. Bye. You three have got more talent, so I'll get, I think by default, I'm Ringo. Still cranked out Yellow Submarine, though, right? So, you know, I'm still pulling my weight. Ringo wrote Yellow Submarine. Yeah, he did. There's no way, is there? He sings Yellow Submarine, right? That's where I'm going. Yeah. Welcome to your favourite Beatles stream, guys, where we just chat about the Beatles.